Yo, what's going on guys? This is Brent again, and in this tutorial we're going to be setting AngularJS up on our front end. So we've already got AngularJS via Bower, but since we're creating a single page app or a spa, we're going to be doing some intra-page routing. And to do that in Angular, we're going to download a module called Angular Route. So right here we're going to do Angular Route. And then I happen to know the version number is uh, 1.3.15. And then what we'll do, we'll save that and we'll come down to our terminal window and kill our server and Bower Installer. So we just get the files that we need. So now that we have those, let's go to our index.ejs file. We're gonna get rid of these scripts right here that's actually gonna break some stuff, but we're gonna come back later and do it the Angular way. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna import is our uh, script for AngularJS. Um, and it's going to be in, where is it? Uh, libs slash angular slash angular.js. And then libs, what is it? Angular route. And then the file is angular route.js. And save that. So inside of our client folder, we're going to create a new folder called JS for JavaScript. And inside this folder, we're going to create a new file called app.js. Then also, we're going to create a few uh, little folder structure here. The first folder is going to be called uh, controllers. The second folder is going to be called um, services. And the third folder is going to be called directives. And you'll see these throughout the tutorials and what we're going to use those for. So if we go to our app.js file, we're going to create a new variable and call it my app. And it's going to be angular.module and we're going to name the app in angular called my app this is the name for our application and then right here we're going to uh, inject dependencies or state the dependencies that our app has our app is going to have the dependency of ng route and that's it for now so let's leave that there for now and go to our index.ejs file and make this an ng app okay so we do ng app and give it the name of our application, my app. And then down here at the bottom, let's bring in our JavaScript file that is our, you know, our main one. So we'll do script and then our uh, location is js slash app.js and we'll save that. So now we're gonna actually delete this jumbotron here and this is where we're gonna put our partial pages. I'm gonna create a div with a class uh, equal to container. That's a bootstrap uh, thing. In here is where we're gonna put a div with an ng view. And this is where our partial pages are going to load for our single page app. So back in our uh, app.js file, we're going to configure our Angular router to change our partial pages when a user navigates to a specific link. So in order to do that, we're going to go down here and config. And we're going to config two different things. The first thing is going to be our route provider. Provider. And the second is going to be our location provider. Um, so location provider. And then we're gonna give it a function here that takes in both uh, both those, so route provider and location provider. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say when we get uh, a route, we're gonna do a route provider dot when, and when somebody navigates to slash home, we are going to use the template URL of partials slash home.html. And then the controller that we're going to use to do all the logic is going to be the home controller. Then we're going to do um, route provider dot otherwise 
I think it's all under, under uh, or lowercase. Redirect to slash slash home. Because if they go to someplace else, we'll we'll make some new uh, routes soon. But for now, we're just gonna have that one. And then we're gonna configure the location provider to .html5 mode. And we're going to enabled, enabled is true. And then require base, you require base is set to false. And this is gonna pretty up our URLs so they don't have a nasty hashtag. So now we need to set up the folder that we're gonna keep our uh, partial files in. So new folder in our client folder and call it partials. And then inside here, we'll create a new file called uh, home.html. And then we're just gonna put um, hello world in this and go ahead and save it. So we're gonna set up our new controller here, home controller. We're gonna create a new controller in the controllers file, home controller.js. We'll edit this file. It'll be my app. So we're using the name of our module, dot controller. And then we're gonna name it home controller. And then give it the dependencies or injection, inject our scope. And actually that's in quotations here. And then the next will be the function that takes in the scope. And down here, we're just gonna leave that blank for now so we don't get any errors and save it. Now let's add it to our EJS file. So script, um, and it's in our JS slash controllers slash home controller dot JS and save that. So let's go ahead and test it here. We'll pop open a new browser and we can see that the page automatically loads our partial page and puts it exactly where we told it to. Um, and so let's go over uh, what actually is going on here. Um, we're gonna go to our app file here and we're gonna see that anytime anybody navigates to the slash home directory it's gonna load our partial page that we've saved right here and it's gonna insert it into our EJS file right where we say ng view okay so all the HTML that's in our partial page is going to replace this div ng view div it also is going to tell uh, the Angular app, then when we load this partial page up, use the home controller to control that partial page. So we're gonna put all of our logic for our home controller or our home page uh, in this home controller .ej or .js file and it's going to be what controls uh, that partial page. The HTML5 mode uh, keeps our Angular app from being something like hashtag slash home.html or something like that. So I don't want that hashtag there, so we're just gonna remove that with HTML5 mode. So sorry that this video uh, was a little bit longer than the other ones. Uh, I hope you guys learned something though. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everyone. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you guys next time.